Delvin's on his way down now, so... Hi, Andrea. To level, I, I can check level. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, um, it's a, it's not on full here, so that'll give you a bit of uh, an way to play with if we need to go up any higher. Cool. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Can I right. just need to plug in here. Uh, I will oh, it's, it's, it's there already. Uh, okay. Cool. Yeah, that's much better than this. Sounds good. Sounds good. And this is actually, this is like a three thousand euro. So Catch up with you. They want to do the presentation there. Okay. Can I ask them to move it or not? <laughs> yes, yes, please. German Assetech. My name is Brigitte Vettier. I'm the yeah, a very heavy job to rebuild it. Yeah. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the Assetech of Norway, the um, International Assetech and the Sand Festival for hosting us, not only this morning, uh, also for the whole week. It's a great pleasure to be here. And we had wonderful discussion, for example, yesterday in the EC encounter about, uh, not about walls, about devils, but I think perhaps it's very near, close to each other, these themes. Uh, secondly, I want to thank my colleagues that will run this um, panel with me, uh, the members of the board of the German Assetech. Julia will introduce them. Uh, members of Theatre uh, Strahl in Berlin because they will make the last um, director seminar. It's an uh, upcoming venue from the German Architecture. Every two years we have an international director seminar in different cities in Germany where we invite around 30 young uh, directors over the whole world. The uh, message is going to all the architecture centers over the whole world and they could send one person to enjoy one week and they work with a topic. And the last topic was in June uh, this year and the topic was walls. And uh, we want to um, discuss with you about this theme because now we have 30 years ago the Berlin Wall is falling. And that makes a lot of 
uh, with us for the society, not only in our country. Uh, as you know, it's a theme uh, for all over the world. And we have so much walls now in our society in different countries, new building walls. And so we want to discuss with you um, what are the walls in our work. And I like uh, to say also very much thank you to my really near friend, Shell Moberg from Norway, from the company NIE. We made a performance together. Uh, it's shown in the World Congress in Malmö in Copenhagen, uh, Berlin, 1961, the play about the wall. And he will join us through the panel. OK. And we will build three groups, but now I give to Julia, uh, also a member of the board. She will introduce our, uh, uh, all the people, and then she will say something about the three groups. OK, thank you. Hi, good morning. Can, can I sit, or should I stand? Or, OK, I can stand. No, I, <laughs> <laughs> no, for the camera, you can just stay here. Yeah, for the camera, yeah. Stay. yeah. OK, so a very warm <laughs> welcome also from my side. I'm very happy that we all can be here. And I will just do a short introduction, as uh, Gitti just said, of the people we brought. So I will start by side. Next to me is Stefan Fischerfels from the uh, German uh, board and the EC. He will be one of the groups. Then it's our pleasure that uh, one of the authors of the play that uh, the people that came to the last artist, uh, the last Thank director you. seminar, they could watch a show in Berlin called Berlin Berlin. And this show was produced by Theater Strahl, and it was written by four authors from different generations and from East and West Germany. And so here's Zina, one of the authors, and we're very happy that you're here. And also there is Karen, who's the co-artistic director of Theater Strahl. And who do I see as Maike from German Azite as well is here to be part of one group. Shell, we already heard he's Famous. He did. <laughs> he did lots of work. Uh, one was the show he did at the U yes um, about the building of the German wall, and they showed it in the World Congress. And in the same year, he achieved. Uh, he uh, reached uh, yeah. received the artistic award for artistic excellence from the Azite. So we're so happy you're here with us to help us discuss. And who do I see else? There's Jutta from Cologne. She's also a board member and she will be part of one of the discussing groups. And she's also very involved, as Gitti said, of the, in the director's seminar. And there's one more German lady I will now say from the German board, this is Rebecca. She will also be here. She's from Bremen. She's very nice. She is. <laughs> <laughs> She's no. from Bremen, but she's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I said. <laughs> so, what's going to happen? Actually, we would like the the word the word workshop. We figured it's a bit misleading because we're not actually working or moving or doing real exercises, but it's more about the discussion. And so, we would like to have you in three groups or invite you to three different groups on three different themes. We figured that might be interesting, hopefully, for all of you <laughs> to discuss and question. So the first group <coughs> is about staging history. Do we make art to create memories? So this group will be done by Jutta and Karen and uh, Maike. And they would like to discuss how um, real historical events or even fictionalized ones come on stage and how they might influence our collective identities, our collective memories. So this is the first group we would like you to invite to. If you would like to have another theme, you can offer was there something else. <laughs> <laughs> so for example, the second group, they, they have chosen the, the title Historical Events on Stage, Whose Voices Are Heard, Whose Truth Is Told. So this is more about who is making, who is creating our collective memory, who is actually represented, who is taking part mm -hmm. of these processes, who decides which, which stories are told on stage. And Stefan is one person who's very interested in this th 
team. So he will be on this group as well as Zina, who is the author. So yeah, this, you too. So that's the second group. And then we have a third one that has the title Politics, Cultural Policies and Artistic Oppositions. What, what is our responsibility as artists? So this group is about to discuss more like off stage. What are the walls, the barriers that we are facing in our society, in other institutions? And what can we do? What do we have to do? What's our attitude towards these barriers and walls we find around us? Is that about clear? Okay, perfect. So and who is who doing is the group? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I thought you might have figured out who slept. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And okay. so this is Gitti, <laughs> Shiel, and myself doing oh. this group. Very sorry. Yeah. So, um, Maybe, do, did, did we already say who is going? I uh, only could mention that uh, the third group staying here because um, if you decide to go in this group, uh, we have the live camera for the, um, live uh, the, the live stream for the, um, for the website uh, here in this room and who's not willing to be on the live stream not could share in this group. That is the only thing it's clear. But I don't know where are the other groups. Okay, well, we prefer uh, to go in the around the corner. There's a small spot. Okay. Uh, um, if it's not enough, we might be somewhere else. Okay. Uh, and Stefan and Zina will be sort of right outside the door so that we don't have too much noise in the crowd. Okay. So I will just outside. say again we have the first so group. That is discussing: uh, Do we create art to? No, do we make art to create memories about these uh, different ways of creating uh, collective identities and memories? This is group one that will go here. Then we have the second group with Stefan about uh, who's representing, whose stories are being told. That will go outside. And then we have the third group about politics and our responsibilities that will stay here. So take. Two, three minutes. Seconds. Seconds. You pick your group. Oh, okay. Yes, we hold on. Yes, where my backpack is. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's a little bit light. This is the hot seat. No, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're just, you know, we're just staying here. We're just passing. We're just going to get on.
get the post-its you have. I have okay. post-its. So, uh, the, 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 the second warm welcome. And perhaps before we start, um, we make a short introduction round so that we know with whom we're talking. So please say your name, say your profession, and say your country. Mm -hmm. Will you be? Yeah, my name is Ingrid, and I work for Diebe, coming out of the work for children and young people in Sweden. My name is Roger. I work for the Aroma Theatre in Belgium as comedian and director. I'm Robin from uh, Asida, Switzerland. I'm a board member and I'm a drama coach in Gütteling. Cool club in Berlin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My name is Vanya. I'm the secretary of Asida, Switzerland and I'm a drama coach in Munich. I'm Milan. I'm from Serbia. I'm vice president of Asida, Serbia. I'm employed in uh, one institution of theatre and I'm a player. I'm Susanna, I'm from Lübeck, Germany, Tribüne Theater. Uh, I, I'm not a classical theater person. I do the photography work and the PR. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Nela, I come from Schindler Kinder Festival in Hamburg, Germany, um, which is an international theater and music festival. Yeah, I was born in Julia, I'm a director and a drama coach in Germany and I'm on the German assistant board. And I'm Brigitte, as I already said, but I not said that I'm running a company in Stuttgart that Jungs Ensemble Stuttgart called YES and also make every two year uh, international festival called Schöne Aussicht Bright View, the next in June. <laughs> so I'm Sjell, I'm a theater maker, uh, I'm the artistic director of NIE as you heard before. Uh, beside that, I also work with the Norwegian uh, Performing Arts Network. Is that right in English? Uh, <laughs> kind of. Uh, and uh, I also work with a project called Kluben, which is uh, going to be a, a venue for, a national venue for uh, young audiences in Oslo, uh, where I'm at the moment also artistic director. I'm Diana, I'm uh, president of Asitesh Serbia, and I'm kind of their, their the program director also in Oslo. Serbia. I'm a basically actress and drama pedagogue, and this is it from Serbia. <laughs> yeah, I'm Laurus. I'm a manager of a, of a theater for for a young audience in Iceland, and I'm a playwright and a director as well. Uh, hi, I'm Jamie. I'm uh, an actor and playwright from Adelaide, Australia. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I'm Rebecca. Um, I'm running a theater in Bremen, Young Theater Bremen, and I'm a dramaturg and also member of the board of. Hi, I'm Nicholas from Belgium, Brussels. I'm not running a theater. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, at least I'm a director and an actor and a scenographer. And I'm part of a collective. So that's it. I don't know. There's more, but not too much now. Okay. Uh, I'm not either running a theater. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm Serena Blixter from Tromsø in northern Norway. And I'm also a drama pedagogue. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm Ellen, I'm from Stenkunstbrücke, Network for Performing Arts and the Showbox Festival. Uh, and I also work with PR and communication. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, ask okay. the question. <laughs> I asked the question. Um, yeah, as, as I said before, this group is more about uh, taking it off stage and asking which walls are, are we confronted with in our artistic works when it comes to other institutions or gatekeepers or changes in society. And this means we would uh, like to discuss not only or not at all, maybe content of forms on stage, but rather like what is our position, our attitude, our responsibility towards actual conflicts or changes in our society and our governments, mm -hmm. whatever, what you feel okay. like, what is, what are you dealing with right now? And to find out, we would like just, uh, we will hand out some post-its. Yes. I would like just to note you one comment or statement or question that you would like to discuss in this group concerning this question. Okay, so far. Then I will go on. We and you, you can put a question, you can put a statement, uh, uh, you can also fill up two. 
post-its yes. and two sentences if you have more than one statement. <laughs> and after that, we will uh, uh, put it on the wall. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and then we could all read it. And then we asked to make a sign which topic you want to discuss. So that we have a democratic process mm -hmm. so that we could process. discuss two or three topics with the most signs. Mm -hmm. okay. Do you have also the uh, how to make the sign? Uh, yeah. Oh, this one, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's three possibilities. The German way is a cross. Uh, you can also make like, uh, like this or you can make this. And it's just a joke. Yeah. But we had a long night very, very and we, we need a long yeah. time to, uh, this morning to recover. Don't, uh, don't bother for now, now just start writing your words <laughs> and then we would go on. Anyone else on the pen? Sorry? Yes. Yeah, repeat it again. Yeah, the it's just don't. Uh, the, the, the question is like, what do you feel is our responsibility or attitude towards actual barriers in our society or in the institutions around us? What do we feel like are barriers we always hit, or which walls do we need to overcome, or what is our responsibility towards changes in our society, and how can we take action even off stage? Like metaphorically, are there new walls coming up? in the society, are there new obstacles? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and how, how can we? Or that? also the question, uh, what could we, how brave we could be with our art, uh, not to uh, uh, to, uh, to support, uh, support uh, this thing, mm. or how far we go to sell our art, uh, to be in the system, all these questions. Um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> Don't. Every question is valuable. Yeah, and it could also be like a short statement, statement or yeah. one word, like you feel this is this is something, and then we see what we can make out of it. We don't have to put the solution or an answer. The wall. It's here. Yeah. It's a colored wall. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyone yeah. need more paper? We have a lot of paper. <laughs> to pay uh, uh, Shell in Euro and then to get it. Yeah, perhaps. <laughs> Oh, yes, of course. Any questions we have to raise up? Oh, mm -hmm. That's good. Or is it?
so good for streaming. Huh? I, asked, I asked the people live streaming if they have a question or comment. Oh, <laughs> very yeah. nice. Oh, so far. Nobody. All of us. Are we finished or? No stress, no stress, no stress. No stress. No stress. No stress. <laughs> I understand. You are very famous. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. 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 You have to go through the next step. Yes. So we, 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 no, um, actually, I would have say now, mm -hmm. uh, did everybody post something? Mm -hmm. I still see some posts of you there. Yeah, You're I can fine? check. I can check it. <laughs> 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 I know that this is and this thing's on the wall. <laughs> 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 Maybe somebody can work for two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, you can put up as money as you want. Yeah, you know. No. But then uh, we now have to make space there that everybody is going around yeah. and yeah. read them yeah. and, and, put and put a sign if <laughs> is uh, he <laughs> or she. <laughs> what? Three. Maybe we manage three. We will see. Yeah, so you have three crosses. You can po you can mark on three posters that you yeah. like the most. You would like to count the most. Yeah. Always yeah. count. Yeah. Yeah. To be serious <laughs> about the counting. No, this is just the preparation. And after we finish counting, it's all good. <laughs> yeah, that is democracy. Yeah. Democracy is very yeah. long process. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Maybe we should very do that. Uh, very cool. We make more. We make yeah. some extra posters, and then you can put your. Oh yeah. Cross. Is it yeah, from it Greece? Is. is it Greece? Greece? <laughs> no. <laughs> I thought you were from Greece and that you knew everything about the democracy. democracy. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's from Switzerland. Yeah. 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 But they don't know so much about Switzerland. Yeah. 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 Neutral oh, states. All the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, <laughs> so you can make three crosses or three marks, uh, but try not to make it on your own. So uh, we try to have a democratic process. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not like a campaign for <laughs> oh, really? So we can just go through once yes. yeah. and then yeah. and go back and yeah. Yeah. make problems. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Well that's Jeff, you know. Like if I think here, she's making everybody. Or we can just make it if you like it. Yeah, or three crosses of tea. Yeah, we could we could organize it. Yeah, I mean, we, in the German aspect, we can <laughs> we go, we go, we go, in the line. <laughs> go in the line like this and down this way. And if I read a little bit slower, then yeah, the other ones have to wait. Patience is, is a virtue. Can someone read it out now? No, I think it's better with this short process. Yeah, we have time. I mean, this is a part of the reflection as well. Sorry. Don't do the So much content. And then we can, I mean, yeah, it can be like a quick. Oh, this one I like, this one I like. Yeah. 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 yeah, we're not going to publish a PhD at the end. It's not the Eurovision. No, it's not the Eurovision. Maybe you. Let's start with the Eurovision. Yeah, yeah.
Two more minutes, we have to do the yeah. quick thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this was meant to be a short trip? Yes. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, thank you very much. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Four. 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 Yeah, I have We have one topic with nine points, with, uh, that is a little bit like your Russian uh, song contest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nine points. Uh, nine points. Uh, nine points. Yeah, nine nine points. Uh, nine people want, want to uh, talk about compromise. How far are you ready to go in gender politics and cultural politics? Mm -hmm. So this is the one, we, do we start with? Yeah, yeah. But, but we read yes, the, three, we read the, other, uh, yeah. the um, topic with eight points from uh, Lithonia. <laughs> is, <laughs> is the theatre in danger of becoming an echo chamber? That is with eight points. And then and we, have we have five uh, asking the question, what is our place as artists in the face of an increasingly hostile government or society? Does our work matter? So this mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a bit the same as this. Yeah, it's it's, this is why I picked it, yeah. because I felt like the question is very similar yeah. to, so. to both of the others, actually. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but uh, perhaps, uh, I don't know if it's a good idea, but uh, who is writing that? And perhaps the person will explain it a little bit more. What is the, uh, What are the thoughts behind that? I knew it. Okay, that's ah! <laughs> <laughs> no, I was I was uh, thinking about you know this is live streaming, so I have to be very cautious. But yeah. not that's uh, the point. Yeah. The point is how far we are open to say exactly what we what we feel like, and it it is concerned. Obviously, it's everywhere in the world the same thing. Doesn't matter the circumstances that we are working in. But it was thought that Milena and me have has changed. It's always interesting in a, these kind of gatherings when we find out that mo all of our colleagues all around the world, doesn't matter the circumstances, the political way of the government and all these things are, we are we are having the wall of having administration in every sense of the word, not only a politic political one, but the. The general cultural policy, the, the 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 way how the administration is working, and all these things. So we are most of us here and everywhere when we gather, we are facing the same problems, but the circumstances are completely different mm. in all over the world. So we are dealing always with the problem how far we are conscious of the problems. We maybe perhaps in our circumstances know how to fight. But then you always come to the wall where we, you have to cross across the wall and face with something that you want to be as a person of integrity, as an artist, you don't want to cross it, you know, like mm -hmm. barrier of the politic or, or cultural politic or general politic or right or left wing or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So that's the question. How far we are we are capable and willing as a as a integrity integ and uh, artistic integrity, integrity to go further on because of the common uh, good wellness mm -hmm. which we are uh, automatically um, uh, we, we we want to do you if we are working and dealing with the TIA I mean this is a responsibility as well mm -hmm. when whenever we go to TIA I'm feeling like we we um, we have Kapsukasha Kristali we understand that we have to work for some better goal, not only artistic, mm -hmm. our, our, our personal artistic way. So mm -hmm. that's the question. Mm -hmm. Like if you are in Asiter Germany or me in Asiter Serbia, there is a moment when you have to cross something that you want as a personal artistic 
uh, as artist, or even if you are only thinking in your way as a personal one, are you willing to go further be, 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 uh, beside how are you going to make a compromise? Are you willing to do it? How, what is the cost? Do you measure the cost? How do you balance in between? That's the question. Maybe I, I, I understand it in this way. I would love to see how you who have put this understand the question. Because this is also giving us the answer. I think it's I, a way. I it understand work. it a little bit in another way. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I uh, understand it in that way. Uh, that uh, is also a question uh, if we feel uh, the responsibility for our society, are we also able to overtook political positions? <laughs> It is so a question. This is is it a similar. question yeah. to finish some day with the theater and go to the Street. education yeah. uh, ministry yeah. or yes. uh, to the cultural policy? So that is a little bit what uh, I think when I read it. Yeah, but this is also what I also think about it. You know, mm -hmm. it's a very b big spectrum of it. Mm -hmm. So it would be mm -hmm. nice because this is what, how you mm -hmm. understand it. The mm -hmm. way it shows how in our national, uh, in our for lives in our countries, yeah. we understand this question. Yeah. That's yeah. also a way how we can get an answer. Yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> May I just ask this? Because you, when you say, are we able to take one of the positions in the politics, is this a good thing for you, or is it? But sometimes, when uh, when I really, and that has uh, also depends a little bit, or uh, has a connection to the echo uh, chamber, uh, um, sometimes we had also the feeling uh, um, we talk now for one hour and we have the same ambitions and we have uh, the same wishes to change things, but uh, how could we reach mm. the people who think in another way? So, and then I said, yeah, <laughs> perhaps why not? So, I, it's not mm -hmm. as bad as all. Yeah, uh, I think um, uh, as an artist, I think it was Krosowski that said this, you have to be very good at changing between uh, the silk shirt and uh, the armory. Mm. Yeah. So uh, do quick changes because you have to be sensitive to the world around you, and you also have to put on armory to fight. And uh, for me, theater is the best vehicle to to work against compromise at the moment. But I don't know if if the society continues to change as fast as it's changing now. In maybe in two years, it's maybe not theater. Maybe something that different. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's uh, graffiti. Yeah. 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 Expression. Yeah. 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 But I think what's also very interesting in that point is, um, are we aware of our own work mm. and uh, how far we go to um, Protect, um, not to protect, to uh, uh, unterstützen, to support, support uh, systems uh, to be able to make our art. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that means how easy we make. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah but <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. But it's also an important thing because uh, I understood the question as how how far would you like to go, uh, not only in an artistic way but also in a human way to. Mm -hmm do the thing that you want to say on scene, but sometimes the scene is not the good instrument for something to say what you want to say. Um, so like, for example, we did once uh, a play that we played inside and the tribune, the audience, yeah. the, audience the chairs were uh, on the street and everyone could go on it, everyone that passed by. Uh, and we asked, uh, we said in the end, one week before the premiere, we said, okay, we will not play it. We will ask the neighbors to, to say what, to give them stage to say what they want to say to, like uh, the Muslim neighbor, she was angry for stuff in the street. So we gave her the platform. <coughs> but then the, the theater that gave us the money were quite angry because we didn't do our job. We, <laughs> we, we, we didn't play. And they, she said, I pay you, for playing, and you didn't play, <laughs> so. But you yeah. made a theatrical event. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we did. But that that was already a, a bridge too far. So that uh, encouraged us to do this more. In yeah. fact, to to say, okay, but if this is not possible, then how can we reach people? Or how can we mm. say something? To, to 
So yeah, it's also a thing of the the boundaries made by the bureaucracy because that money should go to uh, acting people and that money should go to a, a street workers or something. And but yeah, if if you mix it up, yep. Yep. you have a problem apparently. Any other talks? I have a question from yeah. uh, oh, outside. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, from Cleona Mula. Yeah, from Ireland. Hi. Uh, she <laughs> asks, is the theatre building itself a new wall given the huge diversity of populations today in our countries? Ah. If there is this diversity. I guess that was supposed is to that, be on yeah. one of the Yeah, is, uh, I, I understand the question like this. Uh, is the traditional theater building mm. a wall itself? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. uh, it's mostly white middle class people with yes. money yes. enough that okay. goes to the theater. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. and yeah. Unless you do something mm -hmm. else. Mm -hmm. yeah. Unless you go on the street and yeah. get a microphone. Exactly. Yeah. 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 yeah, and it's also close to the echo chamber. It's very close yeah. to the yeah. echo chamber. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. With the same people, to the same people, and dealing with our interests yep. only. But yeah, it is very much art the architecture of the building is in fact that it's quite solved problems. There are literally a lot of doors mm. in between the street and the actor or something. And I think it's also the image of art. Yeah. The image of art that people think that is not for me. Mm -hmm. uh, also if you are in a new building or not in the building with three doors to open, yeah. to go in, if you have only one door, it's really, really yeah. hard work to, uh, to, to have the image, it's open for all, so, mm. and yeah. that is the image of art, yeah. that is uh, something that uh, I'm intellectual enough, yeah. I, uh, 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 do, do I understand, mm -hmm. and to be honest, we also make often art and like it also if it's not so easy readable yeah. is it a little bit uh, uh, risky, in, risky, yeah, yeah. risky yeah. or perhaps also with uh, less stuff and uh, the fan let the fantasy grow and blah 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 so we mm -hmm. we have our own language that is sometimes not open for mm -hmm. everybody to be yeah. honest yeah. But can you, can you also? Oh, sorry. sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe if someone else wants to say something, but I, yeah. but I, I think I find it uh, scary and interesting that um, in the times of, uh, of growing populism and mm -hmm. and growing polarization, the things that actually was a very positive thing in the seventies or eighties, a, a new theater building in town, is now a symbol of them and us. Because uh, I don't know how you say it in Germany, or but in Czech Republic, for example, we say uh, it's the people that go to the pub, <coughs> and it's the people that go to the cafe. Yeah. yeah? It's the intellectual, it's the yeah. elite yeah. against the people. Yeah. 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 So the, and this gap is, is growing, and yeah. then the building also represents that gap. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And then, so if you, uh, I mean, I don't know if you sometimes read the threads in discussion forums, but that's <laughs> like. Uh, yeah. Uh, at least in this country now, it's like burn all the buildings, mm -hmm. you know, throw the people out on the street. Mm -hmm. There shouldn't be any theater mm -hmm. anymore, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. because you should give the money back to the people. Yeah. Mm. yeah, but there's a trick also, you know, because uh, this is a trick when the artists want to be a separate, like, artist, this is art, I'm doing something very special yeah. for you, and then this is the, how we started all, all these differences in between the ordinary audience and, and the artistry. On the other side, um, these people, on the other side, the artists are in a, in a way, and I wouldn't say guilty, but it is out on us to work on it, that, uh, to self-defense the artistry, but not to make the wall. Yeah. Mm. That's yeah. the point. On the other side, it's you know like so so many things are going on in a, in a, in, a, in a way that I understood what uh, you you said. Uh, the, I think what we can do about in a way when you have the money from somebody to do something like play or like uh, calls from the funders from the funds, it's always like giving you one chapter, one topic. Mm -hmm. So it's really you have to be very clever how to write the application to fill out the question, but to work your art. 
Mm. That means that it is now, at these days, the artist has to be really triple in one. Mm. Yeah. Not only exactly. artist. Mm -hmm. It's really heavy. Yeah. Mm. You know, so it is yeah. really like, what else I have to do to yeah. make the, the, the thing which I am for, mm. that I would like to work towards somebody who don't want to go into the walls yeah. of the building. Yeah. Mm. It is really a huge task. Mm. And we have to work a lot. Yeah. So being here as, as uh, artists from parts of the world, not all over the world, but from different parts of the world, um, what do you have any thoughts or have you, do you have any experiences or ideas how to meet with this, so how to contradict, or if, as you're saying, it's, we always have these this ex ex expectations towards us or um, we, we have to deal with all these political uh, ideas, what theater should be about. Have you, have you found a way to not to compromise or to contradict, or do you have any ideas what we could do also as uh, international, an international organization to make change happening in this, in this regard? No, I think it it's starts quite local uh, and also I think that we should use the same uh, weapons as a popular movie, mm -hmm. uh, like popular theater, I, I really like it by the kind of taste also I think, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> like uh, carnaval and uh, like more parties or something that are happenings, things that are really happening here and now and that the audience is not knowing that they are audience or something, that something is happening, uh, like some, something is going, uh, is passing through or there is a, a building that now is a, a television studio, a new television studio or a new company or whatever. Or once we, we made a new uh, uh, tourist office in an <laughs> abundant building, and in Molenbeek, I don't know, uh, mm. it's famous for the terrorists. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and um, we, I love Molenbeek, I love <laughs> uh, And we made a tourist office, and we said, okay, well, there's a brand new tourist office, which was a bit uh, uh, crappy. And uh, people really came in to book trips or to have a deal with us uh, to to make an airplane pool to Egypt or something <laughs> and uh, then we said okay but yeah you cannot go to Egypt but you can go travel to the future or to uh, the moon or to uh, we can do a safari but yeah it's inside and the animals are played by human <laughs> <laughs> so, so really then we we reached the not an audience maybe or not the the expected audience also, because then it was a newspaper, but uh, also the neighborhood and the people that were passing by. So I think it's quite often a challenge of using the popular uh, or the known signs or the known piece or something to, to go in. Because people actually quite often go to theater without knowing, like carnival or like uh, shows or so, yeah, because I, I, I'm dreaming to do once the opening ceremony of Eurovision Song Contest. Oh. <laughs> 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 so, so, yeah. okay. Because you, you reach so many people, but they never do something cool. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah I, I, I think also one way might be to uh, have more real representation. So why not invite your local Nazi to the theater and have a dialogue with him on stage or have a dialogue with him uh, or make a, make it into a space where you also really talk with people you don't agree with mm -hmm. um, and, and, and see what happens. Of course, you have to have mediators and we've, we've been doing this a little bit in Norway now in the Nobel Center and it's... it's but it's a public dialogue or is it a... Uh, that's 
that's made like a, a, a one-to-one -one dialogue. Okay. So there's a there's a newspaper that yeah. made you. Okay. So you you write your opinions, and then they will mate you with someone who's okay. got the opposite opinion. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, because um, yeah, I, I wrote the thing about the echo chamber, and yeah. I really feel it strongly over the last years. I mean, not if you play for young audiences. Yeah. If you go to schools yeah. and play for young yeah. audiences, you you get all the responses. Yeah. yeah? yeah. Then then someone will scream haram if it's someone is kissing, and it will. I mean, you have everything. But in the in the public square, um, I find this more and more mm -hmm. difficult. Mm -hmm. um, and how could we break that wall? Mm -hmm back into society. Mm -hmm. So is it our problem or is it the society's problem? <laughs> <laughs> it's our problem. But we it's are our also problem, huh? We are also the society. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but, and, uh, how long? What? F five more minutes. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, echo chamber? Yeah, if, 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 but uh, what I really believe in is making theatre with the youngsters. Yeah. So because I, I, you could really see. So we in our theatre we have a lot of uh, speak groups we call that um, and uh, workshops for youngsters and they make productions five six groups <coughs> here and some of them are really growing up with theatre. They are in the fourth or fifth year. And I don't know if that's naive, but I really believe if they get in touch mm. with art, mm. and uh, then they will not be a right-wing populist. Mm. <laughs> I, I'm, I, yeah, I'm yeah. sure because it's also it's a little bit something like um, what I uh, what my uh, opinion is that they often people have that opinion if they has the feeling nobody. Um, is counting on me, or mm. nobody is sees me. And mm. I think if you going through theatre, then you uh, learn how to. You have an, you get opinions. You have a behavior. Mm. So and that is that is one I go for it, and that that's a reason why we work in this field. Mm. That I really believe that making art mm. make a better world. <laughs> not making art. Yeah. Not yeah, yeah, and, and uh, I don't know how far we come with yeah. uh, when, uh, if they only watch our shows. Mm. I think we come much more far mm. if they practice by themselves. That I believe. This yes. morning we talked with a man that made, I don't know, 30 years or something, uh, thea um, TYA theater in uh, Hungary. So he, And now he was very disappointed that the voters, the Orban voters, were once his audience. And now. So he didn't <laughs> achieve to plant the seed or something. Okay. Yeah, but people change and the times change. So I mean, yeah, exactly. you have to remember 30 years ago, Ur Urban was in the movement. He was standing there yes. when they were breaking down the wall yeah, into yeah. Uh, Austria. True. And today he's been building a new wall, the yeah. same person. Yeah. So it's, yeah, yeah. Something that occurs to me is that perhaps theater itself isn't quite the right form anymore, in, in, in the sense that perhaps something that we could be doing is to take all the theatrical techniques that we work with and applying them to things like online video and you know, social media. And there's a, There's been a huge shift in the way that people, particularly young people, consume culture. That's true. And you know, in, in, in my country, the subscriber rate for the main theatre companies is going down and down, partly because the old ones keep dying off. And the, and the new people don't, the young audiences aren't really coming in as much. And yes, of course, we all love theatre and we all you know, want it to continue. But particularly to break through this echo chamber effect, mm. there's a lot of people on, on YouTube, for example, who make these incredibly polished, incredibly stylish theatrical videos, usually debunking some right-wing talking point mm. or addressing some topics that people don't really if you see it in the theatre, it's very much diluted and put into this form that's not quite as potent. Whereas, whereas these people I'm thinking of tend to you know, cut straight to the heart of the issue and actually have a dialogue. And if that's what we're trying to do by breaking down echo chambers, perhaps it's more about using all of the style and all of the stuff that we love 
but seeking out different ways to deliver these messages, mm. trying to get people in from a different route and then get them back to a theater. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, because that has to be the mean. Yeah, <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think personally that this could be a way to do PR. <laughs> but uh, for me, theater is really uh, the most optimistic thing in the world because we are people together in a room uh, and there's someone on stage, but you're also part of what's going on on stage. And and I can, I'm here with Gitty, and I'm here with uh, Dana, and uh, yeah, uh, Diana. So I can look to her as I look at, at the performance, and it's it's really a, a collective uh, thing which happens there and then, and um, which I find very very optimistic because mm. uh, it's it's working really against looking into your fault, you know. It's mm. uh, uh, and it's breaking down that. Um, yeah. But not everybody has the, is lucky enough to live nearby. Yeah. I know, I, yeah. I was, uh, I was growing up on the countryside. Yeah. I was uh, growing up with movies, yeah. not with theater. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. there's no possibility around the theaters coming in your landscape? Mm. I can't remember. No. Okay. Now I live but in a city, but as yeah. um, yeah. yeah. I I a child and, and a youngster, I had only TV and... I just did a project with teenagers here in the festival, uh, the teen project, uh, the other days. And one of the um, ambassadors in that project, she grew up on a farm in the mountains, and she'd never been to the theater. And then she moved to the city last year, and she's but she always wanted to be in the theater. So now she's she's dived into it. So I mean, you can long for it. <laughs> but I think that this thing, because I'm doing a performance festival for youngsters in Germany since ten years ago. And um, the, the most important task for us was to find people, young people, who don't usually go to a theater. And then I thought, well, you separate them from the ones who go to the theater. Again, if you only take these youngsters, so we really try to mix them up. But I think that's the problem in general, no matter if you have a theater where people can go to, or you go out and do projects with youngsters, you always have to try to mix people and make but people meet you, that usually do do don't it? meet. How do you try it? I really spend a lot of time in building bridges to different people, um, and then you are in some sort of institutional, <laughs> to, to social workers, to institutions like, um, um, well, you can use schools for that, but you can also find a way where they meet outside of school. So I went to, to places where people, uh, even in parts of, I can only talk about Hamburg in that way, but uh, where maybe a theater is far away, but the young people meet in their free time. I went to hip hop projects, I went to um, yeah, different um, sports clubs where they meet, um, to everywhere basically, and I was really running around with my flyers and my little movie that I showed to them, uh, and we're talking to them, and still I have the impression that I only reach the ones that I meet. I mean, I'm only one person who is doing that. I can't be everywhere in Hamburg, but uh, I'm going everywhere. And the moment where they have to apply or can apply for uh, our festival, I really run from, from part of the city to uh, another part of the city and try to meet people and, meet <coughs> and talk to them. But was it as audience members or were they? No, they play. They, yeah. they, they play. They get the stage and yeah. yeah. Super. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, they get an artist that helps them uh, build an own performance of only 15 mm -hmm. minutes. But uh, yeah, and we have different groups who present mm. whatever is important to them. We have very few minutes. I think uh, it's over. Uh, yes. Two minutes. Uh, any more? Any more? Uh, any more? Yeah. Is something not? Uh, is so much? Yeah. Just scratch. Yeah. I think you know. Just uh, I want to make a, a small point here. Yeah. We talked about echo chambers. Yeah. You know that people. You know, same people that are talking about the same things, agreeing about the same things are saying in this vocal, you know, we see it on Facebook, everybody are there yeah. in, a, in an echo echo yeah. chamber, you yeah. know, agreeing on what they, but I, I think this is in the theater, but as soon as we do an outreach mm -hmm. into, first of all, our audience uh, or others, I think as soon as we do that, then then the echo chamber, you know, goes down because, for example, young young people and and children, they are, you know, they, they are not in an echo chamber, so, they, they say what they, they think, they say what they want, 
and everything. So if we, if we just do that, we go out and listen, then I think you know, we'll get out of our echo chambers. You've had a revolution with making a lot of theatre with youngsters in Iceland over oh, yes, the last yes, years. Yes. And that means that you also had a lot of youngsters coming to the theatre. Yes, that's yeah. right. You yeah. know, we, we do it on our theatre, yeah. we, we do it with young people yeah. and uh, you know, they are acting in our, in our productions. Mm. So, so we get a lot of feedback on our watch. And for example, if, you know, for example, using other medias, yeah, we use another medias in our production because it's, it, they want it. Yeah. You know, so we use, uh, you know, Snapchat, whatever, you know, so it's what's, what's the add on. And, th and that's the thing, you know, you just go with the, you know, the flow, you know, the flow of what's going on. Mm. Modern times. <laughs> yeah. New times for new generation. Yes, it's a new right. challenge for all of us. That's right. All together. Uh, yeah, um, I was just wondering, um, is there is there any like like you said like you made the suggestion of outreach or changing the media and also from what you said before I I, I had the the thought with that uh, because you said uh, we should use popular things that people actually like and what that was this, that was giving me the uh, the idea that actually this. Um, because we talk about it's so complicated and it's so hard to do and people don't like the change so that maybe uh, when we do more things that are actually people want to do it, it doesn't feel so hard to do uh, to come to the theater or to to change your attitudes because you, you you do something that you actually like and then you start discussing it and then you start rethinking it um, that if we want to make things change, that they come from a positive energy and not from okay, this is all not working, and so we uh, we have to work hard and we have to do lots of things we don't want to, but like look for the fun side of it that I got from your party, do the party thing. Yeah, but uh, also um, because that is now uh, uh, um, positive to say we, we use the things. Uh, what youngsters use in their life or to make it uh, as a party. But uh, on the other side, for me also is um, you have to do what you have to do yeah. and not to lose yourself because uh, on the other side we have this talking that uh, you make shows uh, that will be good sell and then you know in some countries you don't have to make a production about migration about homophobia mm. so we don't touch these things because we want to sell and that is really that is for me a w unbelievable burning <laughs> issue mm. uh, um, yeah, but you uh, uh, then not to go with this system mm. and that is for me a question uh, am I able also to left my job uh, <laughs> to when leave I job, to yeah. leave my job to <coughs> quit my job when I get difficulties. So if uh, we uh, get stronger, more stronger and stronger right-wing parties, uh, and um, I always have the, uh, the feeling I will show my opinion very, very strict, and I will never work when they are the people who gives the money. Then I will go in a supermarket and uh, sit at the cast. I don't want to work, I don't want to uh, uh, because we had that a uh, long time ago mm. and uh, people love their uh, kind of art to direct or to act so much or to dance that they do it also for systems yeah. and they can't yeah. face... It's a question of the compromise as well. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. A, it is. Yeah. And it's also yeah. about the commercialism that you are talking about yeah. because mm. we, are we are pressed to, to, to earn the money because the theatre is very expensive. Mm. And then, then, and don't forget that theatre never have been a very populistic. I mean, it was always a some per percent of the average of the popularity mm -hmm. in a, in mm -hmm. a one country. Mm -hmm. It is always like that. You can't mm -hmm. change this. Mm -hmm. But doesn't mean that we. And also, I don't think that we necessarily need to 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 let us flow what is uh, if what is the opinion of the majority because we yeah. need to make a commercial thing you know and to sell it and to have it for, for mass it doesn't have to be mass but it is that we have to talk and to find out what is the what is that compromise in the artistic way that you 
really make an art, arty, yeah. arty thing and, and with the thing that we exist and work in. Yeah. So this is really, I don't know, I don't, we, I, it's obviously that we don't have any recipe for mm -hmm. yeah. no. but it is but that we have to be aware of. Yeah. Just to be clear, I, I just want to use the shape of yeah, the... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I understand yeah. that. You can yeah. make yeah. a, a mm. bingo evening yeah. Yeah. about uh, migration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. So don't don't leave in the box. Yeah. Thank you very much. However. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we will now go in a big circle and we'll heard also from the other groups what they discussed. And we won't okay. say anything from us. <laughs> 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 I need to go because we have a meeting. Thank you for the that we wanted to discuss. I will just read out these three questions or statements. So the first was compromise. How far are you ready to go in general politics or in facing cultural <coughs> politics? That was one question. Then uh, the other statement was, is the theater in danger of becoming an eco-chamber? 
that uh, the world of administration or uh, the general cultural politics of a culture is often seen as a, as a wall or a barrier that we have to deal with and that our programming, our ways of getting funding are often like a compromise because you have a certain theme that you have to deal with and you have to find your way like how can I enter my art and my interest into this funding program and there's often this feeling of I'm compromising a lot to, to do my art and this was felt as a general problem all over the places and uh, here also there was the point that where's the line actually that I don't want to cross so how much compromise am I willing to take and to, to bend my things and where's my personal deadline or my the, 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 the wall I don't want to cross and say no I then in this I don't want the funding or I don't want the collaboration because this is a line I personally or artistically don't want to cross. So, um, and then we were actually, oh, we have even a question from the live stream uh, that was asking <laughs> whether theater is, uh, the theater building isn't a wall itself, like because of the echo chamber that we are actually staying within our walls and not communicating really with the society or all parts of society, but we stay in our always the same questions, always the same topics and problems, but we never move on because we always stay in our own thinking systems. So we said, yeah, that's uh, a problem that we also feel is, is going on. And so I'm just trying to wrap up that some ideas were like, um, if we want to, to, to break these walls, we can start by a local change, like in our own place, and maybe even take some of the popular ideas of other um, movements in the society and like open a tourist center where you don't uh, book a flight to Egypt, but book a flight to the future. <laughs> and like meet what people are interested <coughs> in and like try to adapt your methods and your um, yeah, your ways of addressing to make it more accessible, to make it more easy for people that aren't used to the theater to get in touch with you. So the, there was one part of outreaching programs, also like really doing work with youngsters, with the people, and try not to separate them by, because you have to have the kids that are from a risky background, and so you leave out all the kids from a safe background, and then you get another separation. So mm -hmm. it's also like building walls by programming special projects. So try to, to mix it up. Mm -hmm. And the other thing, on the other hand, was like, um, if, if I really want to be able to look in the mirror also the next day, there are some things I cannot do. It's, and there, there will be some limits where I have to say no, and this is what so there are two points of actually changing, like how do I address and how do I go out and maybe find new vehicles for my artistic work, but also like what is my change, like how do I have to change maybe in the way I'm producing or I'm uh, communi communicating to the gatekeepers to say no, this is not this is not the way we will do it. This is not a this is a theme I want. There's no taboo in my work. You can't tell me not to do a play on a certain theme or to, to only work with special people, this is too much. Okay, any comments? Oh, oh, this is very good. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
So we were the group number one uh, of being in that corner over there, and uh, it, uh, our speaker was the relevance of theater about historical you events and uh, the experiences uh, the group had uh, made so far with uh, this kind of theater. And uh, in the start, we described um, in, from our different perspectives and the countries which were sitting together, which were Chile, Norway, Sweden, Switzerland, and Germany. Uh, we described our, uh, and France, uh, we described our experience uh, with what kind of wars are, are we dealing and what kind of uh, theater we made or experienced to deal with this. And uh, there were two topics mainly, one was migration and one was uh, history we had to uh, go through and we, uh, we saw that the kids in our audience did not know at all about it, like Holocaust in Germany is really difficult to still keep in, in the memory uh, of the children of today. And uh, uh, altogether we had the subject of racism, of new racism, dividing groups, di uh, producing new walls around nations and inside society as well. And uh, then we discussed uh, different ways to reach the audience by our work. And uh, we were uh, collecting methods a little bit, but uh, that the time was not enough. But um, we were doubting how, how do we reach the audience and how can we figure out if we reached them and what did they get from it. And um, we were discussing this a lot and there were, was maybe, maybe you could say, the elder in the team, they were saying that the theater makers, we have those lists and we, there are so many things, we have to talk about it and we are tired of having to talk about something and we want to make a, a theater uh, that is uh, filled with our our own subjects and themes, and uh, and the younger uh, uh, theater makers in the room really did a plaidoyer to do this work and to trust in the young audience that they will understand the work about historical events as well, and that it's not a bad duty, that it's a, a very uh, important duty we have. Um, because, and that was some, uh, important uh, to see again, that history is repeating at the moment when you start to forget about the sins of the past. And uh, so what we uh, also figured is that the ways to get our audience is to create empathy and to find out what is the relevance for them today when they uh, need an entrance in, in this story we are telling or in this um, theatrical um, experiment we are doing with them and to find different ways. So we figured out we have the duty to tell the stories of the past. We have the duty to find good ways to do that so that it's not historical lessons. And uh, <coughs> what do you have to get? Lots and nothing. I have a feeling this is the starting point of getting yeah. into, into, into communication and into yeah. sharing our experiences and our strategies. Yeah. We were just wanting to continue yeah. just the yeah. same time. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Go to the hot seat. I hope there is another group. <laughs> we had the topic that it's really important to point out the perspective or the different perspectives of yeah, different voices or just one perspective um, of an author. Who owns history? Is the, it was our big question mm -hmm. and whose voices are heard. Mm -hmm. We had talked a lot about the Second World War mm -hmm. uh, because we all, uh, we're all aware that the grandfathers and mothers are dying and it becomes a really an opportunity, a, a big thing to, uh, uh, to, um, um, to 
kept this, to keep the stories alive from different perspectives. For instance, Austin told, uh, may I told the story that, that um, he's, he said, the stories sometimes are very irritating. It's, it's mm -hmm. not easy. Mm -hmm. uh, his father uh, went, went because of poorness, went to the Nazi army because mm -hmm. he was Norwegian. Mm -hmm. So he would love to tell this story, but he mm -hmm. doesn't know even about his mother if he would like that <laughs> he tells this story. Yeah, but yeah. there's so many irritations and, 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 and moments that you don't know. But the only way that what we came to is to tell a personal story, mm -hmm. to tell it through a personal story. Uh, there was one thing, and uh, uh, we talked a little bit about the situation in Hungary, that for instance, mm -hmm. we, you get money to t t tell other, to tell mm -hmm. the is history in another way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You get money to tell, uh, it's not only Hungary, of course, it's mm -hmm. in any, any, all over the world, we are not talking about mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. that you get money to tell the right story about a proud Hungarian, the proud German, the ad whatever. Yeah. Yeah? And this is the, the opposite of actually most of us are trying all the time. But what is if you don't get a funding anymore for mm -hmm. the <coughs> complex stories? Um, so, so we said history is a actually something, a wall itself that gets bigger and bigger and bigger every, every time. And the only way to break through the wall is to tell an individual story. Because otherwise, we, I, I talked to, to youngsters in Germany who said, we know about Auschwitz, we know about this is very bad. We can't hear it anymore. So that was building a wall <coughs> of shame and whatever, but not uh, uh, um, reaching the hearts. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, oh yeah, and and then uh, there was another big thing about um, last thing about uh, a conflict that is, for instance, was between the company of Ariane Mushkin and Rob, uh, who wanted uh, and Robert Lepage, and it was about who can represent on the stage. Mm. If you make a play about, I don't know, indigenous people, and this is played by white uh, male actors or something, some people have a big problem with that. And it's a fantastic thing that these discussions are raised, because there's a new conscience about yeah. minorities and about, about rights, uh, human rights. Yeah. So, but, uh, uh, so, so it's, it's sometimes very good. And uh, 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 another thing that was that we talked about how do we do with the classical literature, with the heritage of our countries? Mm. Because they are sometimes, if you look at them from, from nowadays, they are deeply problematic. They are racist. They are uh, 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 things like that. So we had a little talk about if we look at the classical literature in our countries, we have to have an attitude to that and to have to find uh, a reason why we talk about these, these things Nejati uh, Uzili uh, in Germany just did Kleist, Heinrich von Kleist's The Wedding of Santo Domingo, mm. which is a, a, a story, a, a colonialist, racist story about a, a, a man a, a raping a, a, a young woman. Mm -hmm. so this is, uh, and uh, at the end we said um, we have to let go our privileges as we are here and to create platforms, because we, we are creating history, but we have to create platforms and spaces for those who have a diverse answer, who have an, another perspective than we have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's Local the We don't have the yeah. truth, yeah. but we can tell the individual story. Yeah. Mm. Nice. <laughs> So uh, thank you uh, very much to every group, to every people who give uh, your thoughts. And I hope uh, it will not stop now. Uh, we have to go in further. Um, perhaps you are here the next days, and we can talk together uh, about all these issues and how about how we could make uh, that art still living and is uh, lively and will get their audience and that we don't lose our uh, wish uh, for stories we want to tell and stories as you've been told. So um, I say thank you again. I wish you a wonderful day. Um, there are a lot of possibilities to join us the next year in Germany. We have three <laughs> international points. Uh, we have in February the wonderful festival Panoptico in Nuremberg. We have in May Theatre of the World in 
the big theater in Düsseldorf, and Stefan organized that there is also a part of uh, theater for TYA there. <coughs> we could meet there, and I make a wonderful festival in June uh, 2020, and uh, I would like to say welcome to everybody of you, and to continue talk, fill our baskets to make good art. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, that is <laughs> 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 Berlin Bears. Berlin Bears. <laughs> Berlin Bears. <laughs> oh.